Hey there, back at the Golden House, and it's time to defeat Child in another episode. I've unlocked an adventure rank 50, so we can finally go against level 90 Child. Why don't we see how we do? This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. So we'll see if there's many differences in the 10 level difference from before. My characters have also been leveled up with more enhanced artifacts, so we'll see. As usual, going by the surefire tested strategy of attacking and running in circles. Oh yes, and still using Geo Traveler and Kaya for this time. What a perfectly timed teleport. So quick to flee. Run all you like. Are you sure you don't want to run, child? That staggered him. It's my turn now. You've made some progress. Just a bit more for phase one. I'm keeping my burst for the time being for the start of phase two. Not bad, not bad. And not here bad. we go. You've got a trigger. This one will be frozen. Come on, Kaya. Cool it. Let's get him stuck. Freeze. Well, I guess he got me too that time. Nope, you can't get me from up here. But I can Dodge certainly this. get you. I guess Kaya's attacks don't work either. But now Child's the one who's walking in circles. Come over here. No use hiding back there. I guess he can attack through the geo structure. What's the hurry? Dodge Close this. call. Come over here. Close call. There comes the mark attack. And it's my turn. Now it's my turn. He's staggered now. Oh, so sorry. You've got some skills. Just a bit more. I thought the geo structure would stay up that time. Gotcha. Apparently not though. Dodge this. <laughs> Dodge the ah, luck. That was Oh unexpected. no. Kaya, no.
and phase three, here we come. Since it's my first time going against level 90 child, why don't we watch the cutscene for once? Your strength is praiseworthy. I too shall use all of mine. So, don't you dare disappoint me. Foul legacy, the devouring deep! And here we go. Let's start off with some prep work, shall we? And also heal up a bit. And a second one. Four, three, two, one, zero. Ready, set. Perfect! Came right into our <laughs> trap right there. One more. Come over here. Come on. Or don't come over instead. That worked. Zippity zap. Just once? Okay then. That did it. Yikes. That was an eye for an eye attack. Nice, Kaya. Freeze. Frostbite. Come on. Oh, that was unexpected. Not a second time. It's up to you now, Geo Traveler. <laughs> Let's keep this up. Good timing there. And a second time. Perfect. Teleporting right where I want him to be.
<laughs> Missed the aim on that one a bit. Oh, cutting it close. <laughs> More than halfway through with phase three though. Once more. There we go. Oh, the zippity's up. Two, three, four, five, and I think we're done. Do it, frostbite. I'm not done. Again. It's all right, though. Another zippity zap. Close call there. At least we're almost done. Just gotta keep it up for a bit longer. Just one more hit. And we're done. Alright, so off to the build. Here's Geo Traveler, aka Ether, at level 80. Main stats are here. With Geo damage bonus from artifacts. Weapons, I went with Festering Desire. Artifacts, the four piece Gladiators Finale set. All constellations from the storyline. And talents as such. I haven't used any boss materials for the Geo Traveler yet. Off to Kaya, all talents level 6, no constellations so far, the 4 piece set for Blizzard Strayer, weapon I went with the prototype Rancor, which gives me that physical damage bonus, and Kaya is currently at level 60. Main stats are here, cryo damage bonus from artifacts, and the other stats. Alright, so that was my build for this time. Why don't we see what we get for the rewards? Shadow of the Warrior, and Shard of a Foul Legacy, and a Bard Zero Feather. Thanks for watching. Hope you stick around to the next video, and see you then.